Press forward. And through the fantastic finish. Wait, what? I bet he's switching to Android with a sick emoji. Oh, come on, bro. Okay, it's time, guys. It is time. I know you've been waiting for this one. Of course, you know I had to do it. You know I had to double it, all right? New year, new switch. As an Apple fanboy, you already know, we have to support the green team too. So if you guys are new here, it's fine. Calm down, this isn't my first rodeo. But we're going over to the green bubble team. We're switching over to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And we do have the green Galaxy S23 Ultra, which to me is probably one of the best looking ones. I'm excited. The phone that I'm rocking on a daily right now is of course the best phone in the game, guys. You know what I'm saying? The iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it's in deep purple. I'm not sure about the, the storage or anything like that, but all I know is that this phone will cost $1,199. That's expensive. And by the looks of it, guys, you can see how huge these camera bumps are. This is a new packaging experience. I haven't seen this like this before. Ooh, that green. I tried to match the green with my hoodie. Let me know if I did it good, guys. This looks absolutely phenomenal. This green is so nice. Holy, and the edges. I just love how it feels, guys. It feels so good compared to the older one. The edges are like smooth off. I love it. I absolutely love it. What else do we get inside the box? I know we don't get bricks anymore, but we're supposed to get at least a charging cable, right, Samsung? No? We're supposed to get a charging cable. Oh my, we don't even get, oh yeah, we do. So we got a USB-C to USB Type-C charging cable. Love to see that. And of course, the most important thing, I'm always gonna say it, the SIM ejector tool. It's gonna come in clutch. So that's the unboxing experience. We don't get anything else in the box. We just get the paperwork. We get the charging cable and the SIM ejector tool to do the deed. All right, guys, so let's put all of this back inside this box. And we're gonna look at the main event, the main course, the main meal, the Samsung Galaxy. S23 Ultra, 200 megapixel main camera powerhouse, new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 with that Galaxy mobile device chip inside. I heard it's crazy. I'm excited to see it. I heard, I heard it's like the fastest phone on the market right now. I heard the battery life is insane. I heard the cameras are spectacular. There's just so much good things I've been hearing and seeing online about this phone. I can't wait to put it to the test. Can't wait to do my day in the life and all that. So if you guys want to see a day in the life with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra this week, get this video to, to 10,000 likes. If this video hits 10,000 likes by tomorrow, then I'll do it this week. All right, so first peel. Here we go. Ooh, you always gotta love the first peel. Let's turn this bad boy on. And you could already tell how the edges are not, like in my last video, I said I hate how the S23 2 Ultra felt because of the curved screen. They minimized the curve on this one. It just looks and feels so premium. Oh my God. Like, you guys don't even know. It's a, it's, it has a little bit of weight to it too. I think it's about the same size as last year because the battery is still the same. I think this is still the same 5,000 mAh battery, but because of that new chip inside, it's supposed to improve in terms of optimization. All right, so off the bat, the screen looks, screen looks cool, screen looks all right. Almost borderless edge to edge display right here, guys. Let me just hold these two in my hand to see which one I like more. I'm gonna be completely honest here, guys. So S23, it's a bit boxy. Oh, I mean, they feel the same, but I have to give it to the iPhone in terms of the edges. So you see like where you rest your pinky. I just love how smooth it is on the iPhone. On the S23 Ultra down here, it feels like it's about to stab you. So if they could smooth out these edges, it's probably gonna look too much like the iPhone. So I get why they would do that. But look at the sides though. Look at the sides. It's flat. 
it feels good it feels premium i love it all right so i'm gonna just boot this thing up guys because i'm so excited like the s pen is right here too chilling oh i heard a little bit of new stuff has been improved with the s pen too which i'll test out as well a lot of things that samsung stole from um apple but it's good though i like to see different companies take different things and even make it better all right so we're gonna set this up I want to make sure I get my same settings from my S22 because I love how my S22 look. So set up using other device. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my S22 Ultra. Yo, guess what? Which one is the S23 Ultra? You guys can't tell me because it's the same design. <laughs> so Android fanboys, explain yourself. I know, I know how you're feeling. It's pit, you're pissed. It's the same design, but it's fine. It's fine to have the same design. I mean, you could tell by the new green color which one is the S23 Ultra, but I feel like the design has reached a place where they're comfortable with it, you know what I'm saying? And you don't have to change it up every single year, every time. As long as the internals are getting better, the cameras are getting better, smartphones are already at a place where they could do everything that a smartphone is supposed to do. Everything else is just luxury features like the S23 Ultra, for example, 200 megapixel camera, who really needs it? Probably nobody, but it's there. A S Pen, who really needs it? Probably nobody, but it's there. So it's just luxury features they're trying to add right now, guys. Look at cars, for example, Porsches, BMWs, Mercedes. They hardly change the design of the car every year because what's the point? Maybe the internals change, like a new infotainment screen, for example, a new BMW X6 that just dropped has that new iDrive screen. The new S23 Ultra has that new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset inside, which I heard is very powerful. So, I mean, Android fanboys, I'm sorry. You just have to get used to not switching up the designs every year. That's, how, that, that's where we're at right now. But we'll see next year because I know Samsung is always pushing the boundaries when it comes to innovation and design. Let's, let's just transfer everything from my S22 over to the S23. And look at this, we could easily just set it up right here with like a smart connect, which is cool. Okay, I've never done this before. That's sick. Verify using pin. I'm actually just excited to make content on this, like over in TikTok and all of that. Skip, copy apps and data, yes. Use your old device, yes. Okay. Face ID, okay. All right, so I'm gonna just let this cook. Let, let this cook and then I'll get back to the video. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, we're done. We're in, of course, we, ha we have to change this wallpaper. That's the first order of the day. So it's on full screen right now. We gotta have that WQHD plus. There we go, hit apply. Of course it's gonna hit on the battery life, but it just looks way sharper. So yeah, this is adaptive refresh rate. So it does go up to 120 Hertz but now they're using LTPO display. All right, I think it's all done now, guys. So I could plug this out, hit done. Yep, there we go. So this is the S22 Ultra right here, but I'm just setting up my new wallpaper right now. And as you can see, they have like a little lock screen thing going on here. I'm not gonna say what it kind of looks like, but looking pretty similar. You could choose the lock screen. I'm kind of liking this so you could switch it out to see the home and lock screen but this is something that you can't do on apple you can't switch out the quick actions button so if you wanted to you could put like a different app down here instead of the call button but i think these are apps that i use on a regular basis you could change the fonts up here too okay i think this one is pretty clean contact information you could put that there if you want to but we're gonna hit done i think this looks really nice so that's how it's looking right now. It's feeling kind of hot to the touch right now, but I think it's because it's downloading a lot of stuff. But I just want to give you guys a quick comparison between the S22 Ultra, just so you guys can see if anything is really different. So right off the bat, you can see we have the same layout. So the same button layouts. You have the volume rockers, the power button, and this antenna band right here. But as you can see, like the sides are more rounder on the S22 while the S23 is flat. Taking a look at the bottom, the same story continues. You can see same flat layout, S Pen right here. The S Pen on the S23 Ultra looks a little bit different. 
Also, be careful whenever you guys are using the SIM injector tool. As you can see, there's a speaker for the mic. There's a cutoff for the mic and one for the SIM injector tool. So make sure you don't stab the wrong hole. Jumping over to this side, it's very empty. Just antenna bands and the flat design that I've been talking about for the entire time, entirety of this video. But aside from that, guys, you could tell that the camera bumps are a little bit bigger on the S23. I don't know if it's bigger or they just added like a ring around it for it to seem as if it's really bigger, but we'll talk about the cameras a little bit more later on in the video. But otherwise than that, guys, it's the same design, the same thing. Some people might be mad. I'm completely fine with it because as an Apple fanboy, I've been through this years on years, all right? So it's your time to get used to it, Android fanboys. All right, so as I was just swiping around here, the first thing I really wanna talk about is the screen. So the screen looks good. It's, I don't, I think it's even the same screen as the S22 Ultra. The only thing that's really changing is the durability. So it's good for dropping on, you know, tougher surfaces, dust, dirt, all that. It, it has improved in that department. In terms of the edge, the edge, is a little bit less as I mentioned before and it's very minor it's a subtle change but I like it I appreciate it I always just hate on the edge I don't know why it was there in the first place I don't even think phones wanted an edge in the first place it's way more comfortable playing games and also just using the phone on a daily basis to have less of that curved edge on the side the screen also gets super bright up to 1750 nits of peak brightness you won't get all that brightness if you're just indoors but if you're outside and the sun's hitting you will get that brightness it will shoot up and they also have like vivid boost on there which even makes it way brighter indoors so it could literally like bleed your eyes out at nighttime if you wanted to size wise as you could probably tell it's the same 6.8 inches it's super tall. If you have small hands, you'll probably struggle with this phone, but this is like a two-handed phone. I have relatively large hands, so I'm not really ever complaining about using this phone. I love the size, it fits good in the hand. And if you're rocking out with the S Pen as well, you know, you'll be fine. So this is the new S Pen, by the way. There's a couple of things that's new with this S Pen. For example, if you're using any Google app, you could like type, you could write and it texts it out the words, if that makes sense, just like how it's on Apple. S-H-E-V-O-N, Sharon. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. Look at the first thing that comes up. Chevron Salmon wallpapers, Chevron Salmon wallpapers free, Chevron Salmon age. Bro, why are you guys trying to get my wallpapers for free? It's $2.99. Come on, bro. Okay, so another thing we have to test out, guys, is the speakers. I've heard so much about the speakers that it's more bassy, that they added a new speaker. So, you know, I have to put it to the test. We have to see if it's really that good as people are making it out to seem. Sounds pretty good. So speakers are coming from the bottom more prominently and also from the top as well. Okay. Let's hear the iPhone. Wow. Yo, I would say like, they sound the same if the S23 Ultra doesn't sound not really better, but a little bit louder. I have to give it to the S23 Ultra for the speakers. It sounds loud. I don't know if it's, it's more clear, clarity-wise, but it definitely sounds louder than the iPhone for the first time. Like, that's crazy. All right, so as I've been just sitting here, guys, just looking around the phone, what like what's really new with this year's phone and the cameras in general that's like the biggest change to be honest so this camera is kind of downgraded to 12 megapixel but it now has a larger sensor which is great for stuff like nightography night shots you know stuff like that but the biggest selling point as i mentioned is that new main camera 200 megapixels a lot of people is gonna think it's a gimmick but you know i think i think it's pretty cool as an apple fanboy if I ever had 200 megapixels on my iPhone, 
y'all wouldn't see the end of the day. We will be talking about it every time. Yo, does your Android have 200 megapixels, blah, blah, blah. So I'll take it. You might not use it, but it's a bragging right. And it's also pretty useful if you want to zoom into stuff like the CN Tower, for example. Otherwise, we still have that 12 megapixel ultra wide camera on top. The middle one, as I said before, 200 megapixel wide and the 10 megapixel, 10 times optical right down right here. And the other is a 10 megapixel, three times optical zoom telephoto camera lens right here. But you guys already know my baby, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I think has the best overall stable camera. And what would be a switching video without me putting these phones on a blind test? So we're gonna do a blind camera test. One phone will be on the right, one phone will be on the left. So choose wisely. Do you think the iPhone is gonna be on the right? Do you think the Galaxy is gonna be on the left? Let the pictures speak for themselves. Without any further ado, let's get to it. 25, something about this shit made me terrified. That nigga could creep upon me anytime, but it's deeper than that. Yeah, I ain't tripping off that, cause I'm ready for him. Uh, quit playing, young G, you gifted. Don't put all your time in the wrist blade. When shit change, it's strange how quickly. Remember I was trying to get my bitch paid uh, And she cold, she ain't confused She could get it any day, do anything for a view, yeah And I've improved, I've been skating the rules I got plenty women waiting for All right, so that was it guys That was the blind camera comparison test What do you think? I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to, to guess which one was which Five, four, three, two, one All right, so on the right side was the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and on the left side was the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Did you get it right? Let me know down below in the comments, and be honest, which one do you think actually looked the best? Let me know down below in the comments as well. But yeah guys, that's it. That's my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm excited to use it, but there's still one thing we have to do guys. We can't leave without the SIM ejection tool and transferring everything over from my iPhone. All right, so I got my iPhone 14 Pro Max here and we have to do the deed, guys. We have to do it. It's not, it's not a drill. It's not a joke. This is serious life right here. Real stuff going on right now. <laughs> All right, SIM ejector tool out. Oh man, it feels like I've been here before. All right, SIM card in, boom. There we go. We're on the green team, guys. Let me know down below in the comments, how long do you think I could last using the S23 Ultra as my daily phone for the next coming weeks? It's gonna be pretty interesting, but I'm here for it. I'm hyped. I'm actually happy to use it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Smash the like button. Let's get 10,000 likes on this video. If we do, then the life is dropping soon. By the way, you might not see it now, but you could click to watch the S23 Ultra Day in the Life video right here. As always, guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out. I'm not gonna lie, green bubble bullying is getting out of hand.